I'm busy. I don't know. Come on. You come and yell at me and I don't know how to use this tool. I don't know. Blessed assurance. Jesus is mine. Oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Era suspicion. Washing is good. This is my story. This is my song. I am my savior. I'm happy and blessed. This is my story. This is my song. Blessing my savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Hallelujah. Vision of rapture, now boss on my sight. Ages descending, bring from above echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. I am my savior. I'm happy. I'm blessed. This is my story. This is my song. Praising my savior all the day long. Praising my savior all the day long. Praise my Savior, oh, Daddy, Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Good morning, everybody. Welcome in Jesus' name. Welcome into this place. And may the grace of God abound for us today as we gather in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus will. Hallelujah, my Savior reign. Erasing me and erasing you. Hallelujah, my Jesus reign. Oh, see, Anna, yes, you ring. Oh, see, Anna, yes, you ring. You ring in me and erasing you. Oh, see, Anna, yes, you ring. Hallelujah, my Jesus ring. Hallelujah, yes, you ring. Erasing me. I'm erasing you, oh, see, Anna, Jesus, I don't I worship you, I worship you, son of God, you've been so good, you've been so good, almighty God, hallowed be your name, your dominion is forevermore. Adonai, Adonai, I worship you. Son of God, you are so good. You've been so good, Almighty God. Hallowed be your name. Your dominion is forever, Lord. Heavenly Lord, your name is beautiful. Your name is wonderful. Your name is excellent. And I worship you, Lord, for you are my lady. You got the reward in your hand. You got the reward in your hand. In your hand, you got the reward. 
In your hand you got the road wide In your hand you got the road in your hand. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you, Daddy. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. You are all I have, Jesus. You are all I have, Daddy. It's only you, Jesus. It's only you. I say, Lord, you've been so good. Lord, you are kind. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. I say, excellent is your name. Excellent is your power. Lord, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. I say you are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing, you are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing, you are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Eh, Shada, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Eh, Shada, angels are singing. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. I say, You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy to be prayed. I say, You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Eh, shall die. Angels are singing. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Lord. I say you are worthy, Lord. What is to be prayed? I say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Eh, shall I die? I sing you are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Angels are singing, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, O oh Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Oh, you are worthy, Lord. Eh, Shada, I say you are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Eh, Shada. Hmm, hallelujah. Jehovah. Jehovah, I praise you. And I praise you, Lord Jehovah. I praise you. I praise your name. I praise your name. Jehovah. 
Jehovah, I praise you. Jehovah, I praise you. And I praise you, Lord Jehovah, I praise you. I praise your name and I praise your name. Jehovah, Jehovah, I praise you. You are welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Today is July 3rd, unbelievable. It is by his grace that we are here today. I thank you for coming. I thank you for joining me. I thank you because you are faithful. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no room for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God. You are God. From beginning to the end, there's no room for argument. For you are God all by your, yourself. I want to welcome you, whether you're coming from the east, from the north, from the south. Come and be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 People, they ask me, say, within they make me shine. I just they tell them, say, now nah, my Jesus, they make me shine. I will shine, I will shine, I will shine, I will shine. I will shine, I will shine, shine, shine. I just they tell them, say, now nah, my Jesus, they make me shine. Amen. Amen, amen. Blessings and glory. Words of thanksgiving. And no, oh, no. And no, no power of mine belongs to the Lord forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. Blessings and glory. What's of thanksgiving? And no, no. And no power of mine belongs to my God forever and ever. Amen. I say, Jesus, we are here. Father, Lord, we are here. Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. Almighty Jesus, we are here. Father, Lord, we are here. Master, Lord, we are here. We are here for you. Almighty God, I am here. Sweet darling, I am here. Darling Jesus, I am here. I am here for you. Almighty God, I am here. Darling Jesus, I am here. Holy Spirit, I am here. I am here for, for you. I say covenant keeping God, there is no one like you, ever living God, there is no one like you, I say covenant keeping God, there is no one like you, heavenly father, there is no one like you, singing covenant keeping God, there is no one like you. Ever living God, I say there is no one like you. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. I say, yes, Lord, I believe it is well with me in Jesus' name. I believe, 
Yes, Lord, I believe. I say, Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. In Jesus' name, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. There will be no more sorrow. I believe, yes, Lord, I believe. I say, yes, Lord, I believe. It is well with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I give glory to my God in rain. I give glory to my God, you reign, Papa. Hallelujah. You reign in heaven and you reign on earth. I give glory to my God, you reign. Adoration, adoration to my God, you reign. Adoration to my God, you reign. You reign in heaven and you reign on earth. Adoration to my God, you reign. On the mountain, even in the valley, I sit on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, even in the valley, I sit on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living, my God, you are good. Forevermore, the Lord is my portion in the land of the living. My God, you are good. Forevermore. Somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The first Sunday of the month, I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Will you praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Somebody praise Messiah God. Hallelujah. Amen. You are welcome in Jesus' mighty name. Today is the first Sunday in the month of April, uh, <laughs> July. <laughs> Hallelujah. I don't want to go back. We're moving forward in Jesus' name. Amen. It's the first Sunday in the month of July 2022. Before we know it, we will be December. First Sunday in December. <clears throat> Count your blessings, name them one by one. Hallelujah. Count your blessings, say what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. I'm counting my blessings. I'm naming them one by one. The Lord has promised it doesn't fail. He has promised in the book of, hallelujah, in the book of Psalm 103, verse 2, it says, count the benefits of God in your life. Can you count it? Uncountable blessings at the cross. Hey, may the Lord hear us. May the Lord bless us. It is well in Jesus' name. Amen. Father Lord, we thank you as we go into the world this morning. My heart is, my, my soul glorifies the Lord. And my spirit exalts your name. For they could not hold you captive, even in the grave. My Jesus is the Lord, even in the grave. My Jesus, you are Lord. O oh Lord, be with us this morning. Guide us through this month and for the rest of our days. Guide us. We acknowledge you as you have spoken, as you've written in the book of Proverbs 36. You say, Acknowledge me, and I will direct your path. Direct us henceforth in the mighty name of Jesus. Teach us your ways because. Mm -mm, we don't know how to walk. We don't know how to talk. We don't know how to relate with one another. And we don't know how to love. As you have loved us, and you have been our first love. Everything that would destroy our, our the, will put a gap in between us, oh Lord, fix it this morning. Everything we have done in the past, the sins of the youth, 
Ah, Jehovah, do not let them be asking and destroying our blessings in the name of Jesus. We're now a newborn, a newborn in the Lord. Let that your grace be sufficient for us to carry us on. Jehovah, thank you for who you are. Blessed Redeemer, I thank you and I honor you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. To all my viewers, whether you're coming from east, north, south, west, come and be blessed. May God bless you. May God bless me and my home in Jesus' name. Come with me. Today we're talking about how can we fix some things in our lives. You remember yesterday. I mean, yeah, it's yesterday. <laughs> you remember last Sunday. We talked about what should we be doing. How should we start again to gain ground in the Lord? How should we start again to do things that are right and acceptable before His sight? Come with me as we delve into Hallelujah, Jesus Reign Series 113. Come on down. Come, open to the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 4. That's where we're going. Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 4. Ephesians chapter 4. Come with me. Book of Ephesians chapter 4. Even though we're going to 22. Let's start from, um, quickly. Um, let's start from 20. But ye have not so learned Christ. Yes, we're trying to learn Christ. You have not so learned Christ. We're, we're trying to get there. We want to know who he is in our lives. And how can all things be past and stay in the past and things in our lives are brand new, starting afresh in the Lord. Don't think you are perfect. I'm not perfect. Every day, seek for your salvation. Hmm. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him, as the truth is in Jesus, there is no other there is no friend like the lowly Jesus. Yes, no one. Yes, no one. He bears our sorrows. He takes everything upon him. There is no other friend like lowly Jesus. So humble. And he wants us to be humble like him. That he put off concerning the former conversation. Everything, let it go in the old. Stay in the old. Put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. <laughs> Joy, put away your old self, mm -hmm. which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Hey, I want to be this, I want to be that. The powers of the generational causes the raging war. Even though we were told in the book of Ezekiel 18 too, that never said that adage, that they ate sour grape, whatever grape they ate, I'm not going to be a part of it no more. I mean, new being in Christ is only the one that sin that will be dealt with. Hello? It says that he put off concerning the former conversation. The old man, your old man, your old self, that you can virtually say, ah, if not that I'm now a born again Christian, if not that I, the love of Christ in me, ah, I will deal with you. Me, I don't take nonsense. Those things are past. You need to cool, chill, <laughs> and be new, being in the Lord. The old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. And 23, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Let your mind be renewed. Let the old things stay in the past. And then you put on the new man. How? Which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. How can we get there? And you put on the new man. A new life in Christ. Which after God is 
created a life in Christ and through Christ to God, the Almighty, the, the ultimate. Which after God is created and the new man, it should be in righteousness. Put away those deceitful lust of the past. I want, I want, I want, I want when we need them to pray. I want, I want, I want. There is nothing else you ask for. Just want, 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 want. Have you offered yourself as a living sacrifice? Who are you in the Lord this morning? A new man. Hmm? But it should be created in righteousness and in true holiness. <laughs> Come on down. Then let's go. Let's see what it says in the book of Corinthians. First book of Corinthians. Hallelujah. The book of Corinthians. Hallelujah. First Corinthians 8 4. Let's start quickly. And I'm reading from verse 2. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing. Ye, as ye ought to know. We, we, this is what I'm saying. We need to be a new creature in the Lord. And how do we start it? Don't think you know too much. Oh. Me, I have no clue. I'm just waiting for God's direction through Christ Jesus. So we can all be where God expected us to be. Amen. And if any man think that he know anything, he know nothing, yet as he ought to know. Amen. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. If you love your creator, you do the right thing. And what are the things you need to avoid? Number four, verse four. And concerning therefore eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice unto idols, ceremonial foods. <laughs> we know that an idol is nothing in the world. <clears throat> and that there is none other God but one. Hello, who told you? Who said it? That there could be many ways to heaven. No. There are no many ways to heaven. It's only true one God. Sacrifice to idol, it cannot help us to get there. To start a new life in Christ, sacrifice to idol cannot get you there. It cannot get me there. It cannot get all of us there. Sacrifice to idol. What is your idol? What do you attach so much importance to that if you are not careful, it can cost you your salvation? What do you attach so much importance to? My Rahiba Mahali. And if any man think that he knows something, you know nothing, I know nothing. Like I am yet to know. Oh, that's where we are listening this morning. That's why I'm saying what the Lord directed me to preach. Hmm. Be careful. Don't think she's a woman. Why is she preaching? That is things of the past. It's in the Bible. And we can delve into it another day. If truly you request for it, except God directs me. Hmm. But there is nothing called a woman or man it can do that a woman cannot do for God. It depends on how you have been made and how are you been directed by Him. Concerning, therefore, eating of those things that are offered in sacrifice to idols, I ask you again, what is your idol? What do you attach too much importance to but the loss of life? You attach importance to luxurious cares, to luxurious homes. How many bedrooms can you sleep in one day? <laughs> that the people will not look at you that, hey, help us, though. something is not right here. And in the world, what is your idol? Your idol, again, is when you cannot stay home. And you, you, don't, you don't keep to your wife. You don't keep to your children. You don't keep to God the head. 
and the son jesus christ as the head of the church as the head of the household you don't keep that promise to stay in sickness in whatever my man in, in. what is your idol and not even that there's so many levels of idol when you saw of my Jahali Rahiba, oh Lord, when you saw of my Jahali Rahiba, you serve any other God that is not God. You 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 serve a mountain, that's your idol. Mountain did not create you. You serve rivers. You go on a river and you serve the river. That's your idol right there. Rivers of this world ocean whatever you serve outside of the supreme god invisible god true don't be deceived if it's invisible that does not mean he doesn't answer prayers he's not an idol it's a real god the maker of heaven and earth he is god whoever created us we didn't create ourselves he is god how come how come he says come let us create man in our own image in the book of genesis the three in one in the first chapter he said the whole world was was in disarray it has no shape god the father jesus was with him and his spirit who around around the shapeless world he formed it breath of his breath of his mouth breath of his life he says let there be light and there was light and that light is still on till today to separate darkness from our life to separate day from night Who are you going to serve from today? <laughs> Is it the God of our fathers that let them walk? They walk. Probably. Four days and four nights. And they're walking for 40, day, 40, 40 days and 40 nights. And probably they were not even there. We don't know. The Bible call it 40 days and night. When you calculate it, they spent how many how many years with the king of hog he held them ransom and on and on and they just wondering because we need to be a new man in the lord and stop stop eating ceremonial food stop offering things to idols and if you eat them you are like them Oh man, I remember growing up. They didn't feed us nothing tangible. They kill um maybe the chicken. They offer us the feet of the chicken. <laughs> what benefits is in the feet of a chicken? And they say they're doing one ceremony. God, only God is let us survive till today. The love of Christ Jesus, it took us to this level. As you surrender to him, your life will get better and better. Don't come and serve God with bitterness. You know what? When Miriam, the big sister of Moses, and Aaron, among the prophet of God, the chief race in those days, a Levite, hmm, when they decided to make more mockery of the God, through God that Moses served, they made mockery of him. They say, it's only you. And look at Miriam. He said, you went to marry a strange woman huh? from a strange land. Who are you to direct a prophet of God? If truly God has anointed them, huh, you just did yourself in. Ah, the Lord said, touch not. You come as a friend, inside you, you're a wolf. Hmm. You're a lion. But be careful. 
what you have to offer. If your man wrongs it, and you destroy a woman of God truly that did not appoint himself herself, or a man of God that did not appoint himself, you know, there will be always a payback. And may God never destroy us. Ah, Miriam was inflicted with what? Leprosy. If not for this same Moses that they were using their mouth to destroy. Somebody helps you. You turn around and slap them in their face and call them idiots. Who oh, asked you to save me? There is a repercussion. Therefore, oh, oh, that's an idol, your behavior. Let's turn to God this morning. What did he say? Come on, let's go. In the book of Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2. Ephesians 2. Let me see. And we're going to verse... Ephesians 2 verse 8. Let's start quickly from 6. And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. I'm telling you, he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemy. And those who are despitefully using you, ha, they will turn around and serve you. And serve your God. When they serve you, your God, they're serving you. When they serve you, they're serving your God. If truly you serve a living God. There's a singer who says, I serve a living God, oh, even the devil knows. Not true. She said it in her song. Is it not true? When you serve a living God, powers will recognize you. That this one, untouchable, is the child of God. And that one is the child of God. And this one, you cannot touch. And <clears throat> I'm reading, I started with uh, verse, verse 6. And had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in the ages to come, for a new beginning, for the change, even though time is constant in physics, time is constant, but... The only thing, our years are not constant. Every year, we are getting closer, closer. <laughs> oh, Father, help us. But how have you spent your years? <laughs> and I raise us together, be raised together this morning. Do the right thing. Stop offering things to idol. Stop. Don't offer yourself to idols. He cannot save you. The Bible call it, uh, those who do them, they are like them. Because they have eyes they cannot see. They have mouth they cannot bless. Even they do not, they do not, they, they cannot give you a perfect gift. Except the one that comes from the creator above. The greatest potter. Amen. That in ages to come, verse 7, ye might, he might show the exceeding richness of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. As much as you offer yourself to God this morning, he will lead you on. He will show you the richness in his grace. What are the richness in grace of God? He will grant you good health, long life, and prosperity. What it is that you think you lack this morning? The rich man in the book of uh, uh, Luke chapter 18, he lacks charity. Verse 22, he lacks charity. He fulfills our promise. And he says if you fulfill our promise, you lack one. This man, no adultery, no this, no that. Ha. And Jesus told him, you still lack something. How much more those of us that we cannot keep the Ten Commandments? No adultery. Honor thy father and thy mother. Anyone older than you, even you can honor a little girl, a little boy, who the Lord has anointed as his. Look at Samuel and the chief priest Eli. Hey, isn't that a good story for us to emulate here? 
that the ages to come he might show the ex ex Sending richness of his grace in his kindness towards us through Christ Jesus. And eight, for by grace, <laughs> for by grace of oh God, we are saved this morning through faith. And that none of yourself, it is the gift of God. Amen. And finally, <laughs> Jehovah. Come with me to the book of Rome, chapter 12. Romans, the book of Rome. If you are reading uh, Yoruba Bible, Rome, Romans, English. I don't know what other language I can translate for you. We're going to Romans 12 and 2. But let me start from 1, quickly. Therefore, I beseech you this morning, my brothers and sisters in the Lord, or maybe you are just learning the ways of Christ. Come and be blessed. Come. Come and be blessed. Ah! Don't let God with you. Because if he says he will with you, uh, you know how God will with you? May he never remove us from our grace. May the things of the lost we pursue day and night, may he never direct us. To the wrong part. I beseech you, therefore, the brethren, by the mercy of God, that ye present your bodies, present your life, every bit of you, a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. A living sacrifice means something that is not contaminated by the word of lust, by adultery. Murder, heresies, lavishness, speaking God of people, people who are blessing you and you are cursing them. Hey, remember the life of Balaam. He has the authority, yes. A new life in Christ today, when he gives you authority, there is a reason. Authority to bless, authority to curse, and be careful because there are some people you cannot curse. There are some people you cannot lay your hands on. There are some people you cannot take from them. You cannot use your, their grace to shine. You cannot use their testimony to shine. You cannot deprive them of the blessings of God. You cannot take from them. And want to use it as your own you just you just deceiving yourself with time the lord will take it back from you and he he will he will give back to those people you have stolen from better grace and glory and honor go help some mind who are the, oh, 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 that you have stolen grace from people this morning that you have taken from people because you are you are full of lusts you're full of idol ceremonial spirit in you. <clears throat> even if you are fed growing up with these things, even if I'm fed growing up with these things, we have opportunity for a new beginning in Christ this morning. Ceremonial food has deprived many, many progress in life maybe our our parents in those days their parents our ancestors they have no clue what they were doing to us now that you have seen the light the children of the light why don't we change and let the old things stay in the old dim days in the past amen offer yourself as a living sacrifice Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. That is the only thing God is waiting to hear from us. God is waiting to see. God is, is here. To sanctify in our lives. Hallelujah. I thank you as you come in and you share this video with others. As you come in and you share this video with other, 
May God bless you. Share this video with others. Be blessed. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Offer yourself over <laughs> a living sacrifice. If we offer ourselves a living sacrifice, that is something God will accept. If you did not, God does not live in a ragged places, in a polluted, a sinful. A living sacrifice, you stay away from sin. You do things that are only acceptable by God. Amen. And verse 2, we are, we are going finally. And be not conformed to this world. Never conform with the world. How do you conform with the world? Oh, my, my, my sister, the, the world of loss. Oh, man, I ride a bike to work. And she's, she has a bench. Oh, why, why me? Why you? You know why God is reserving the best for your for the best last for your life? Do you have a clue? It's better for grace of God to abandon you at the right time. At the right time, like it's spoken in the book of Habakkuk. You have a vision, yes. Make it plain for the readers. At the acceptable. At the right time. At the ordained time of God, it will fulfill that promise for your life. It doesn't tarry. It will not tarry. It will surely come to pass. You want to enjoy good health? Don't share shadow. You want to uh, achieve in the Lord? You have to offer yourself totally this morning as a living sacrifice. And it says, let the old things say in the olden ways. Leave it behind you. Face the cross. And be not conformed to the world, but ye be transformed by the renewal of your mind. That ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God for you. May the Lord help us. May the Lord hear us. May there be truly a new beginning in the Lord for our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' powerful name. In Jesus' awesome name. Amen. And that is the only way it can lead us to our expected end. And the gate of hell will never prevail. Jeremiah 29, 11. It will lead us to our expected end. Of peace, of tranquility, of love, of miracles upon miracles. Go ahead and sound mind what it is that you like this morning that will not let you get there. Prayer time. And let us start to thank him in all the way we know. Begin to thank God. Begin to bless him. He is God. He is God. Amen. He has risen from the dead. He is Lord. Every nation shall bow. Every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ, you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord, you are Lord. Amen. He has risen from the dead, he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. That Jesus Christ, you are Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Son of God. Thank you, Jehovah Jireh. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' excellent name we pray. Amen. Let us pray with Ephesians 4.22. That he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Thank God to put you. Make you kneel in him. Begin to pray. You, your wife, you, your husband, you, your children, you, your friends, you, your family members, even those that are trying but they don't know how to get there. May you be the light in darkness for them. May you be able, when you transform, when you are transformed by the fire of God, you are baptized by the Holy Spirit. 
you will be able to help others. Pray and Father help me. What is it looking for in you this morning? It's looking for you to be a new creature in him. Look at that. It's looking for you to live the old ways in the old ways. Make everything brand new for your life through Christ Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray that you put out the old man. It's so corrupt, it cannot let us see the grace of God. Begin to pray, Father, help me. Let the old man stay in the old. Let the new man be in me, which is in Christ Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Let the old man, Jehovah, Jehovah, begin to pray. Begin to pray. Begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every, and tell to God right now. There are so, bound to be obstacles on the way. What is your obstacle? Is it a friend that will lead you astray? Is it people around you? Is it people you are helping and they turn around they slap your face? <laughs> you do them good, they return evil. They're cursing you day and night. They have no topic. They make you the topic day and night. Huh. You pray for them as soon as they leave. It's you. They make a topic. When things are working for them, they put, they put the, the glory of God in the mud. And they tell you, no, I pray myself. No, it didn't help. She didn't help me. It's free. Salvation is free. But the way you accept it, the way you deal with people leading you right, tell God to give you a new heart. Not a heart of stone. To have nothing to do, but to destroy the living spirit in your pastor. Mm-hmm. In the, the living spirit, in people that so much attach importance and they want you to be saved in the Lord. And you want their downfall. Hmm. Begin to pray. Heavenly Lord, your name is beautiful. Your name is wonderful. Your name is marvelous. And I worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world in your hand, Father. Help all of us. There is no single man that is righteous. Let us be able to live our own ways and do right. Is it anger? You like to cause like hellfire? Huh. Don't let that, that, your cause, turn around and haunt you. There's always how God will discipline all of us. Because we're not perfect, but you find it today. You, you fear men and you cursing your fellow brother, you cursing your fellow sister just to please men because you think they're going to hurt you. And you cursing, serious cursing, and they help you. You're not satisfied. All you do is to curse them. Ha! Pray that those curses will not return back to you, will not come back to haunt you. In the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Begin to pray. And it says in the first... Corinthians 8 4. Jehovah, be careful of what is your idol. God is not idol. You either come as you are, and you can't call him idol, and you can't turn God into idol. You can only do what is acceptable before him. God is not an idol. We need to change our ways. Tell God to help you. Father, I pray this morning, help me. And many that are listening, many that would listen to this thing, do not let us do in vain. It doesn't matter what the enemy wanted. Listen, my brothers and sisters, when a prophet was full of it because of the idol gift lost, <laughs> Barak, a prince, told Balaam, go cause those people, the Israelites for me. Because it, it, it was going to offer this, offer that to, to Balaam. He decided to go and cause his own body. He cause his own brother. Cause his own sisters in the Lord. Ha! A prophet? Who are you in the Lord? It doesn't matter. Even if you are not ordained. Are you working the work? Are you doing the talk? Are you doing the writing? Tell Papa God, help me this morning. I surrender to you. 
and I plead the blood of Jesus upon my soul, body, and spirit, my children, my husband, my wife, my entire being. Let us have a new life in Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ephesians 2 8, the grace of God will save us. As for that grace this morning, begin to pray. Father, by your grace, let me be saved. From the ceremonial food, I ate growing up, every obstacle to my progress, every attack of, of the powers of this world, it doesn't matter. Ah, like water in the palm of a strong man, and they have no authority. Never give them authority no more. Everything stolen from me and my children, my husband, my life, prayer, prayer, my wife, my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Oh Lord, you deliver Paul and Silas. Come and rescue us in the name of Jesus. Renew your Holy Spirit in us to lead us to our expected end in the name of Jesus. And finally, Romans 12, 2. Teach us not to conform with this world no more. Let our ways be pleasing and pleasant to you, Father. Let us be able to save a soul. That is the purpose. You, in bad adventure, we cannot find a soul to save. Let our soul be saved by your grace. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' name we pray. Jesus' awesome name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Son of God, for our life. Our lives, it depends. It depends on you. Let your grace abound in every area and be our expected end. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Happy Sunday and July 4th to all of you in America. It doesn't matter where you're coming from. Join me next Sunday, 11 a.m. American time, East Coast, Central People, 10 a.m. We're coming from Mountain Area. You join me at 9 a.m. from West Coast, California. Join me at 8 a.m. Be blessed in Jesus' name. And those from the, from the continent of Africa, join me. Depend on your time zone. West Africa plus 5, join me at 4 p.m. East Africa plus 7, join me at 6 p.m. Asia, join me plus 10. Depends on where you're coming from. That is um, plus 11. Join me at 10 p.m. Are you coming? Oh, Lord, Jehovah, you want them from, uh, uh, from uh, Europe? Jehovah, let them come in at the right time. If you're coming from Italy plus 6, 5 p.m. If you're coming from, maybe you're coming from London area plus 5, join me, be blessed, at 4 p.m. It's like a West African time. And my other sisters, whether you're coming from Africa, other parts of Africa, Asia, Australia, or Tentacle, Europe, North and South of America, join me every Sunday and be blessed. I'll see you on YouTube. God bless you. Bye for now. Share this video, save a soul. And that will count against you being saved for salvation. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye for now. Happy Sunday. Don't finish your talking for, for uh, July 4th. You can mail mine. God bless you. And be careful when you do all those um, fireworks. Stay away and do not let nothing, and nothing by the grace of God shall harm any of us. In Jesus' name. Happy Sunday and happy first, of Sun first Sunday in the month of July. Bye now.